Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Monday Maps. My name's Boone, and just a few weeks ago I did an episode on how to animate map paths using the pen tool. It's a pretty cool tutorial. If you haven't seen it, um, I'll put a link to it in the video description. Well, today I'm going to show you a really cool tip that I found out that's going to give you access to the geospatial data of a lot of the roads inside of the United States. Now, I was working on a big uh, map project last month, and part of that project was I was animating roads um, in the state of Florida in the United States. At the beginning of the project, I was trying to figure out how I could map them easily. After searching around a bit, I realized that Wikipedia has a lot of uh, KML files for each of these major roads. Now, KML files are essentially like geospatial data files that can be used with Google Maps, Google Earth, and a lot of other programs actually now. So here I am on the Wikipedia page of I-95 gives me the map here. But if I scroll all the way down to the bottom and you look right here, it says KML file. Now if I click on this and I can do save link as, it's gonna save this as a PHP script, which is perfectly fine. Let me just rename this I-95. And now I'm gonna go over here to the actual file and all I need to do is manually change the extension to KML. So voila, there's my KML file. I can see the icon here. Now I can use this in a number of different programs. For instance, I could bring this inside of um, Google Earth Studio and do a little fade in, fade out animation of my road and visualize it, export that as an image sequence from Google Earth Studio, which I could then bring into Adobe After Effects or Adobe Premiere Pro. I could also use this in like what I was using on my project last month, uh, a plugin called GeoLayers. It's a professional map plugin that works with Adobe After Effects. And using these KML files, it's real simple. You import it, it imports it as a path and then you can animate that um, to your heart's desire in After Effects. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this little quick tip tutorial. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you like the Monday Map series, be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.